Hello. So we are back on the topic of working with attachments in Ruby on Rails using Active Storage. Now, at the moment, I'm looking at a post that has an attached avatar and a lot of attached images. And what if we want to delete the avatar or delete one of the images or even all the images? How can we approach it? Well, if we look at the Active Storage documentation, we can see this user.avatar purge example. So the command would be purge, not delete, not destroy. It would be purge. And now let's try uh, creating a button to delete the user avatar if the avatar is present. So we would first of all go to our roots and inside resources posts, we would say uh, do, then we would uh, say member do, and member do means we are going to operate on a single post level. So a post with an ID, not total posts. And inside we are going to have something like uh, delete, and the method is going, the action is going to be called purge avatar. Okay, so we have created our root and now we are going to create a controller action named purge avatar. Okay, we'll say def purge avatar and, and we are going to find the post. So we are going to say at post equals post find by params ID. And then we will say post dot, let's see, dot avatar dot purge and uh, we are going to have something like redirect redirect back redirect back and redirect back needs a fallback location that is going to be root path and we will have notice success okay so we have created a root a controller action and now we need the a link in our view. So at the moment we have, if post avatar is attached, we have an image tag and we will also have a link to uh, delete avatar. And what will the path be? Let's have a look at the path in our roots with the word purge. So the path is purge avatar post path. It will be purge avatar post path and we'll say at post and method is uh, delete. Okay, and let's see if it works. So I'm going back to this post. And here you see we've got this button, delete avatar. So if I press it, it gets redirected back and the avatar was deleted. So it seems to work well. This was quite an easy challenge. And what if we want to delete one of the many attached images? Well, let's save our changes and see how it can be done. So I will save the changes, git status, git add all, git commit main uh, action to delete post avatar. Okay, and now we want to delete, uh, let's say, one of the attachments. So similarly, we would want to create a link to delete uh, an attachment. There where we have a list of our attachments. Now we create a link to delete uh, uh, attachment. And uh, what if we go with the, another path? Let's make it uh, more general, uh, a root that we can use anywhere from our application. Let's create a new root that would be a delete root. So it's going to be delete attachments ID uh, purge, and it's going to lead to, uh, we can create a separate controller or we can just use the post controller. Uh, for example, we can create a new controller named the attachments controller attachments controller and it is going to inherit from application controller okay and here we are going to have uh, a method uh, named purge so def purge and okay so let's continue we are going to have attachments id purge and it's going to lead to attachments so to the attachments controller and to the purge uh, method let's uh, have a look now we have our attachments controller and we have purge let's try to find this root that we have just created in our roots now we're going a bit more advanced into routing also so let's try to find the purge avatar. 
oh, actually not purge avatar, but uh, purge an attachment. So we have the attachments purge action. Uh, we can make a request to delete and we need to also add a path. So let's add a path. We will say goma as a purge attachment. And I've created this as purge attachment. And you see, we now have the purge attachment path. So let's uh, add this path in our show view. We have link to delete attachment. It will have purge attachment path. And here we have the attachment method delete. Now let's see if it gives us something. Let's go back to our posts. And here you see next to each post, now we have this delete attachment button. And if you look uh, down in my browser, uh, you see the ID. So we have attachments slash 60 slash purge. So this is the attachment with ID 60 or this one. Here we have the attachment with ID 61. Now, if I press the button, nothing will happen because we are rooted from here to, to our attachments purge. Here we go to the attachments controller purge and the attachments purge is uh, empty. So we need to add the purge method here. Now, how are we going to do it? Let's think, uh, what are we actually purging? What is uh, this object? Let's uh, try to see what this object is. Let's say just uh, equals attachment. And you see, all these are active storage attachments. So what we have here is an active storage attachment. And let's say uh, attachment equals active storage dot attachment dot find, uh, find, and we're going to find it by the params ID. By these params ID that we pass, you see them on the bottom of my page. Okay, so we find the attachment and we want to purge the attachment. We'll say attachment dot purge. And again, we will create a redirect back link. And let's see if it works. So I have my server running. I have all these buttons to delete attachments next to each attachment. And let's press one of them. I press delete attachment and it was removed. I press once again and once again and once again, press for this one. And I have deleted all the attachments except the one. So this is how we can uh, delete attachments. I currently displayed two ways. The first one is uh, directly in the post controller that would work just for the post avatar. And we have made a more generic way with a separate root and a separate controller uh, for deleting any attachment in our application next to which we add this link to delete this attachment. And thank you for being, for being with me. Have a nice day.